So my name is Richard Perry and I'm the PI for the Masters 2 trial at University College in London. And I'm very pleased and excited to be a part of this trial. I was involved in the Masters 1 trial some years ago and the results of that trial look very promising for helping our stroke patients. Stroke is a really devastating illness and more than the fear of dying from their stroke, patients really are concerned about disability, about how disabled their stroke is going to leave them. And although we have treatments for acute stroke that can make a difference to a patient's disability, when they first arrive, um, there's the possibility if they get to hospital earlier enough to give what's called thrombolysis, clot busting therapy to try to unblock the artery that's causing the stroke. And then in a very small proportion of our patients, mechanical thrombectomy, so going in there and fishing out the clot that is causing the stroke. For patients who come later, there isn't really very much that we can offer them to try to improve the outcome from the stroke that they're currently having. So there are lots of treatments that we offer to try to prevent a future stroke, but in terms of the recovery from the stroke that we see in front of us, um, we have very little that we can offer. And even for the patients who do get those so-called hyperacute treatments, treatments that are given within the first few hours, many of those patients are still going to be very disabled. So the stroke community are desperately keen to find anything that we can offer that's new that might improve the outcome. And the Masters 1 study really showed great promise. So although the results were uh, initially reported as uh, not quite significant, there were clearly really important trends in terms of um, beneficial outcome at 90 days, which was the primary outcome. And certainly when patients were followed up later, at a year, there's really quite a big difference between the patients who received this product and the patients who received a placebo. So it's a very promising uh, new direction for stroke. Um, it really is a new direction. The idea of using intravenous stem cells is something that is a completely new area rather than just developing what we currently have. And so I think it has great potential that not only could it benefit patients who arrive too late to receive any of the other treatments, but in addition, the patients who do get there early and get the, the thrombolysis or the thrombectomy treatments, their outcomes also may be improved by this very new uh, opportunity.